Hi and welcome. Today I'd like to show you how to create this aperture ring so you can use for your designs, probably add to your watermark, whatever you may desire. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new document which is here already, but you can also go to File, New and put the resolution you, you're after. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come here to my shape tools and I have a rectangle, uh, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, line tool and custom shape. So the first I want to select is ellipse tool. So selecting that I'm just going to drag a circle but as you can see it looks all wonky. So if I hold the shift key I get a perfect perfect circle. So something like so. I'm happy and I'm just going to move it around to come here and it's nice and centered now just going to minimize the properties panel so it doesn't look anything like that I know that so I'm going to hide it and I'm going to do something else now so once again on my tools on my shape tools now I'm going to polygon tool select that and I want to over here size 7 and I want to fill in white so there you go so I'm just going to drag a circle, uh, a ellipse, and I want to hold shift to maintain its proportions and something like this. Cool. So now we have on our layers palette, we have two shapes, the polygon and the ellipse. So I'm just going to bring the polygon above the ellipse, like so, and before my move tool, and I'm just going to select and align it. So. There you go. Uh, probably it's a bit too big, so I'm just going to Command T or Control T on them, Control T, and just bring it down a bit. There you go. Cool. So so far so good. Now comes the fun part. The fun part is right here, as before on my shape tools. So I'm going to select now the line tool, and on the line tool, obviously the size depends on your resolution. Uh, in here I am going to fill in white 20 pixels and I want all I want to do is come here and as you can see we still see the points for my uh, polygonal polygon uh, shape so I'm just going to come here click like so and I'm just going like this I'm just going to I'm just going to zoom out so you can see a lot better what I'm doing so I just drag the line and I'm going to the other edge as well and I'm going to do exactly the same thing so something like so and to the other edge as well like so and another one and another one and another one just bear in mind to be spot on perfectly aligned please do zoom in I'm just doing like this so you see exactly what I'm doing and there you go it looks absolutely fantastic so what I want to do is I want to merge all of these layers but just these ones here which are in fact the shapes so with the top one selected coming down to the last one holding shift and click this way selects all of them I'm going to just right click and merge shapes. Cool. So now all I have to do is I'm going to load actually this white as a selection. So command on the Mac or control and click right here on the thumbnail of the layer, of shape 7 layer in this case. Go to the ellipse and just add a layer mask. Obviously, I need to invert the mask. Command I or control I. And there you go, we have our shape that now we can do any way we want. So, for instance, let's say I want to use this as a brush. So, uh, when creating a brush, a Photoshop will see black uh, as the shape to create the, base, the brush based on. So, this is why we have the white background. So, I'm going to edit and we have define brush preset. So we call it Aperture, click OK, and I'm just going to create a new layer just so you can see. And as soon as I select the brush, 
it remembers the brush that we just created. So as you can see, I'm just going to go for a different color and make it smaller. And there you go. As you can see, very, very cool. So I'm going to delete that for now. What if we want to do something else? So we can actually come to edit and we have defined pattern. So we could create a pattern based in here. So I'm just going to create a pattern just for the fun of it. Click OK. And I'm just going to create a new blank layer and go to my layer styles. And we have the pattern overlay right here. And we will have the one we just created. And we can actually, uh, we need to fill that actually, sorry. So I'm just going to fill like so. So now we can actually see the pattern and we can scale it. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. So I'll cancel that and delete. And now if I get rid of the white background, I can come here to edit and define shape, but it's not letting me now. So edit, the custom shape is not allowing me. So I'm just going to grab selection so I can select that and define custom shape. And we can define the shape as well. So as you can see, super easy and you can use in many, many different options. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, share with this video with your friends and family and even to those you don't know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.